This is a few techniques for splitting tails on mayflies. So we just attach a bit of tying thread. Now, when you attach a tying thread, this piece of thread here, we need to be uh, uh, about 20 centimeters long, 15 or 20 centimeters long. Dot thread away. So we just go a little bit further back, like so. Then what we need is some fibbits or whatever you're using, pheasant tail. So measure the body. This should be from one to one and a half length, the hook shank that you're tying on. So I'll do these about that length there. We'll just tack these in. That's about right. And then we go back. Keeping them on top of the hook shank all the way. There we are. Then we take our thread that we cut off and we put this to one side of the tying thread. We put it around the hook bend, hold both ends of the thread. Turn this this way, you can see better. And what we do is We'll just move our tying thread up a wee ways, like so. Take our dubbing needle, open up the two tails, and we pull the loop over, and this will split the tails nicely. So we just tack in that loop. Then we can trim all this off, like so, and go back. And you see the tail split nicely and it won't close. Not even under casting, it'll stay in the same position all the time. Keep your tails nice and even all the time. Put another hook in. Tighten that up. Tying thread on again. Cover about that much of the hook shank. We need this length of tying thread once more. Take that away. Take three tails now. One turn just to hold them in position. Then keeping them on top of the hook shank with your left hand. Work them in. Like so. Then we can go back up again just to get the time thread out of the way. Take our length of tying thread again, around the bend of the hook, hold both ends together. Now what we want is to split the tails again. This is a three tailed as I mentioned. Let's open that one up. There we go. Oh, I haven't got the centre tail. There we are. There I have it. Then we just don't tighten it fully, just pull it over the top of the hook shank and tack it in with a couple of loose turns and then you can adjust the spread of the tail by just pulling on that thread and when you've got it as you want it then we can tie it in 
but don't cut off these ends yet because we need one of them so if you want then to lift the tail you can see now that it's more or less lying flat that will support the fly very well on the water but what we want now is we can remove that one keeping this one if you want to lift the tail we can go down the hook shank with this so we can just tack this in again like so go back up with your tying thread and then under the tails and then you can tighten that tack it in again with a couple of turns and then you can pull on that again to lift your tails if needed remove all this and then you can carry on with the rest of the fly and your tails will stay the same under casting, fishing and floating Thanks for watching.